Tati Gabrielle has been a part of the series for two seasons now, and we never want her to leave. But <laughs> we know that's not always possible on this show. Do you really know what you want, Jonathan? Kate, of course, I want you. But I can't have you. I was just scrolling through your Instagram and I see at the top of the page that you have vintage gangster hippie sailor. Yes. Explain that for me. Um, so vintage gangster, like I've always been one for that. I've, I've, I've always had a love for old things um, yeah. and just anything that has story and character to it. Um, and I, in that way as well, I've always been obsessed with like old, like zoot suit gangsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chicago. We're here in Chicago. We had a lot of those. Exactly. exactly. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So like in that way is my way of saying that like I've got my old school wits about me. I do love things that are old, but I, I'm I'm very uh I'm very aware, like much like I guess a gangster would be. I'm I'm very I'm more tapped in than you might think. Watching this show, I love I, I just love it for you're great. I love the narration of that we have from Joe, AKA Penn. Um, and I was thinking like, I wish he could narrate my life. Is there an actor out there that you would like to have narrate your life? Oh my God, I somebody just asked me this. So I would say like the first thing that came into my mind earlier was Aquafina. I just love her like raspy voice yeah. and like the, with the like Queens like twang in it. Like, I just think it's so like, she is the voice of the of the vintage gangster. If you were to take your character, put her, pull her aside and give her some advice about Joe, what would you tell her to do at this point? Honestly, like I would be looking to Marianne for advice. Like girls pretty, like, I feel like she, she's one that's quick to figure things out um, mm -hmm. and quick to, uh, to find a solution, I think for herself. And so like, I honestly don't know. I, I honestly think yeah, I would be okay. like, looking to her for advice. Cause I, I don't think that there's any advice that I could give her. I feel like she's she's on a good track in figuring out Joe, I think. And where do you want Joe to end up? Let him, yeah, rot away in a cage somewhere. He deserves <laughs> to put in a cage somewhere. And like, yeah, like, and let him go crazy for it. Like, um, yeah, that's what I would love to see as a punishment for Joe, for him to be locked up for the rest of his life with no means of an escape. <laughs> well, listen, congrats on season four. I hope you keep making it. I hope you go to season five. Thank you. We shall see. We'll find I, out. Yes. <laughs> right. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, Matthew. Bye.